We're on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer, who's going to answer some social media questions. Tough question first, Jim. Do you think defense stocks like Lockheed, Northrop, Raytheon will move higher based on the incidents in Paris we you, saw? You know, I was looking at the uh, French military. The French historically have been very uh, strong in counterterrorism. I think people don't understand that, but they've been uh, very strong. They do not have a big military. Uh, I think they have to have one. I think that they view it as having needing one. And uh, that means you turn to Northrop Grumman and you, talk to, you turn to Lockheed Martin. Uh, Lockheed Martin's owned by Action Alerts in part because we feel that we're not playing the world's policemen. Others are going to have to uh, be able to buy military equipment. It's rather stark that if France really wants to move them, I mean, there was a story which said they're making massive air raids. It, it's, it's 10, 10 planes. Um, that, that's because no one has an Air Force our size. Uh, I, I think that others are going to have to build it up and NATO's going to have to build it up. So yes, the answer is those stocks go much higher. Jim, I know you're watching Home Depot. What about Lowe's? We've got two of these home improvement retailers reporting earnings. Well, I mean, these are great companies, and I think that what we're in the grips of is a, a tremendous decline in retail. Uh, but neither Home Depot nor Lowe's is easily Amazon. I think we're going to discover that Amazon is behind a lot of the weakness. Uh, and the reason why I say that they're not easily Amazon is because these are products that are look and feel. You've got to go and you've got to test them, you've got to get them. And they uh, tend not to be, uh, they tend to be bought by contractors now increasingly and by do-it-yourselfers. One day maybe Amazon will go after them, but they really haven't yet. Question on GameStop. It's down quite a bit. Buy more or let it go? You know, it's big short position. And I think that uh, Paul Range has done a remarkable job. And there was a, just one piece of research which just said that the uh, there's a big slowdown right now in games. Uh, I want to buy GameStop here. Now, I understand, again, people have to understand, like people on Twitter, look, stocks have, there are many forces that move stocks. And some of them just want to move stocks lower. And GameStop was moved lower, I think, in part by shorts that wanted it lower. And, and understand they can do that. And uh, I don't think, I think GameStop's doing a very good job, but it's a retailer and no one wants to own retailers. Shane asked about Bank of America saying, do you think once the stress test is done successfully, the dividend will be raised? Well, I think that Bank of America is being given a green light. I, again, just focusing on Twitter for a moment, there are people saying, Kramer, you really got it wrong, Bank of America. I mean, if you're really going to pay a 50 cent game on me, get out. Get out, because you're going to lose money in the stock market. It, 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 you look at what Warren Buffett's done. Now, I don't employ it as buying of IBM all the way down, but he is the greatest investor of our time. Does he care about 50 cents? Do you, should you care about 50 cents? If you did, just you own an index fund that, that, and stop looking at it. And I'm not being cruel or I'm not being, in, you know, I'm not being harsh to you. I'm just saying that it's not a 50 cent business. It's, it, it, it's much more than that. All right, so let's end with your number one buy right now. I don't have one. Uh, I, I feel like if Eli Lilly comes down, we would be buying Eli Lilly, but Eli, this is for Action Alerts Plus, but Lilly opened up and that foiled my plans to be able to buy Eli Lilly. <laughs> Jim Kramer, thanks. Remember, Jim answers your questions from social media. He's on Facebook and on Twitter, he's at Jim Kramer. Use hashtag KramerQ. I'm Rhonda Schapler for The Street. To get more of Jim Kramer's investing ideas, as well as a peek at other stocks he owns in his multi-million dollar charitable trust portfolio, subscribe to Action Alerts Plus. Sign up for Action Alerts Plus at GetKramerEdge.com. That's GetKramerEdge.com.